Today is President's Day, and who better than the History Center to talk about the history <laughs> behind it all? So we're welcoming Heinz History Center President and CEO Andy Masick. And George Washington. Yes, and George Abraham Washington Lincoln. is here too. <laughs> it, you know, we started celebrating President's Day because of George Washington's birthday. I mean, George Washington, the first president of the United States, everybody loved George Washington. So he really became the inspiration for our first national holiday. And February 22nd was his birthday, at least under the Gregorian calendar that we use today, Pope Gregory, uh, before when George Washington was born, they were still using the Julian calendar, Julius Caesar's calendar. So he was actually born on February 11th. Wow. And this, this is his actual face? This is his actual face. It's called a life mask. And they would put wet plaster on a person's face Remember, this is before photography, and painters, you know, took a long time to do their job. So uh, Washington had plaster put on his face. They made a mold. They poured plaster in. So this is a duplicate of his face. I mean, this is exactly what wow. he looked like. Hmm. That's pretty neat that they it did is that. Pretty so, neat. I mean, it's preserved in history now. And the cherry tree tree thing is not true. No, right? that's a lot of hooey. Uh, it was uh, Parson Weems uh, wrote a biography. He really didn't consult Washington on it at all, but he was trying to show the character of the man and that, that honesty that he was known for. By not being honest. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. He, <laughs> said, he said, I cannot tell a lie. It was I, Father, who chopped down this cherry tree. And so it was really apocryphal. It was a made-up story. Uh, but now, here's Honest Abe, mm. and remember, Abraham Lincoln is also a February baby. And so, uh, their, their birthdays were only a week apart, and Abraham Lincoln, probably the most beloved of all uh, U.S. presidents. And uh, so, by the time of the 1950s or so, people wanted to celebrate Lincoln's birthday and Washington's birthday, and uh, legislation was passed for President's Day. Let's put them both together. Uh, and then people said, well, why don't we just uh, honor all presidents uh, with President's Day? Very so cool. a lot of people are confused about, is it Washington's birthday? Is it Lincoln's birthday? Who, who are we celebrating uh, today? It's all of them. I'd it's say all of, all of them. Okay, you I, apparently have a quiz for us. Yeah, yeah. that's so how we're celebrating We're, here we're very PCL. excited about that to celebrate. It's time to test your knowledge of American history oh, and boy. presidents. So let's see here. I apologize to all my history teachers right now. Okay. Who was You're the stretching. first U.S. president to name a woman to his cabinet? Was it A, Franklin D. Roosevelt, B, John F. Kennedy, or C, Richard Nixon? I want to say Franklin Roosevelt because I think he was a, a guy who thought he was a forward-thinking person. I'm going to go with B. You're going to go with uh, John Kennedy. Yes. Well, it really was Franklin D. Roosevelt. Yes. It was 1933. He appointed... Francis Perkins as Secretary of Labor. And remember, that's just 13 years after women got the right to vote. It was 1920 oh, wow. Wow. with the 19th Amendment that women got the right to vote for the first time. Okay. Very good. Number two, who was the first president to live in the White House? Was it George Washington, John Adams, or John Quincy Adams? Wow. Uh, I'm going to say, because the last one was A, I'm going to say C, John Quincy Adams. I'll just, uh, he's, he was right the first time. Well, you're both wrong. Oh. It, um, it was John Adams, oh. uh, who was the second president of the United States. And remember Washington, George Washington helped build the White House. Uh, he oversaw its construction, but he never lived in it. Uh, it was first lived in in the year 1800 by John Adams and his wife Abigail. We only okay. have time for one more question. So All right. Pick. All right. This is uh, how about who was the tallest or who is the tallest president? Was it A. Abraham Lincoln, B. Thomas Jefferson, or C. Lyndon Baines Do you know Johnson? The answer to this? I think I know this. I think it's Abraham Lincoln. Does it, you count the hat or not? Yeah, do you count the hat? <laughs> nice is he one. Right? He is right. Uh, yes. Abraham Lincoln was six feet four inches tall. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was six two and a half, 
and Lyndon B. Johnson was six three and a half. Wow. So those are our three tallest presidents, and presidents are on average much taller than Americans of huh. their uh, time. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Always interesting information. Thank you, as always, Andy, for coming and joining us, especially here on President's Day. And bringing props. Yes. <laughs> Come visit the Heinz History Center. It is on Smallman Street in the Strip, and keep watching for Andy here on PTL as a regular contributor and, of course, a good friend as well.